minutes after 10 o'clock. Matt Gibbs is in the studio. Matt fixed my car. My car works so nice now. Uh, <laughs> Matt, it, oh, I have to tell you something, though. There's one little thing about it. But anyway, anyway, but my car works. I drove it to Orlando. Did you? I wouldn't have done that before. Uh, Matt is, let's see, the show is called Auto Repair with Personal Care. Matt's garage is called Sunrise Automotive. And there's a car dealership there, too. It's called Crossroad Auto Sales. So if you're newing, looking to buy a new car or just need the one you have fixed or both, uh, go to see Matt, and of course you can call in during the course of the show to ask your car-related questions. And Matt's got a a broken wing; <laughs> he fell. You said, huh? And I, fall, I fall it down. And what happened? You broke a, I f- pulled a bicep. I tore my bicep. How do you tear? Te- I don't. You fall down and it tears. Yeah, but I mean, I wonder what it really was. It literally torn. Yeah. So it's not connected where it should be. Mm-hmm. So as a mechanic, you could visualize this i mean does god do something to heal it i mean how does it how does the body heal something like that i don't i don't quite know i've never i've never i've never done anything quite this stupid before <laughs> i'll let you tell the story no i'm want not to. gonna tell you the don't story. want to tell the story no no uh, so no. i i drove toward you fixed my car yeah. my car had a horrible noise going on and you, it was horribler than I thought because you said that I could have basically been without a car, right? I mean, well, you would have had a car, you just wouldn't have had an engine in it. So, so what do I have? A timing belt, belt. or a timing chain? Everybody's belt. asking me this. A timing belt. I have a belt, and if it had broken, what would have happened? Well, those are the, your particular engine is what we call an interference engine, which means if the timing belt would have broke, pistons and valves, they would all kissed each other. <laughs> which isn't good. Which is not good. Mm. Uh, so, uh, and I knew, you know, it wasn't sounding too good. So I haven't been going anywhere except for the four miles between work and here. But on Saturday, I drove to Orlando. And it was just such a joy to be able to drive a car that made no sounds. Okay? But now i got to tell you this, because I think I need to bring the car back to you. Okay. I don't know what happened, but... When I got to Orlando, it was like steaming, like it was overheating. And I looked under the hood. I opened it up, and there's no, there's no radiator cap, right? Right. But underneath the piece, is there an actual radiator cap? But I no. just can't get to it. Mm. So water was spritzing out of somewhere from okay. at the top. It might be the radiator itself. Has a hole in it. It probably does. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> is that, that going to be another big bill for well, me? Well, it, it, I don't think they're too, too bad. Um, but what we do is we'll pressurize the cooling system. When we fill it up with water, we'll pressurize it. Yeah. And wherever it's leaking from, we'll see it. Well, it looks like... Here's what I think. I think it's the top, first of all. Yeah, a lot of times what will happen is the top of the radiator tank where it attaches to the core. Yeah. Because they make them all out of plastic nowadays. They They kind of... There's a seal, and then they'll start leaking through that seal. And I, actually, every once in a while, you'll see the actual plastic tank. It, they they just they'll crack, and it'll leak. Okay. Cooling out of the side of the tank. The very top. So here's the very top of the radiator. On yours, the, there's a tank on the top of the radiator, and yeah. there's a tank on the bottom of the radiator. Mm. I just don't want another big bill. Okay, but <laughs> but okay, but here's what I think happens. When I, when I fill it up is when it does it. After enough has leaked out, it doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> and it seems fine. It doesn't overheat or anything. Yeah, but you don't, you don't, you don't want a, if it's leaking, you, don't, you want to fix it. And the reason you want to fix it is because you're not being able to build enough pressure. And what will actually happen is the water will begin to boil out. It'll, 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 it'll come out and it'll leak out. And yeah, you may have a leak up here yeah. and drop it down to here, but you're not able to you're not able to create the pressure that is needed because water boils at what temperature? Two twelve. Two twelve. Think so. So and 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 that's the caps are pressure. They they're you know you can get a thirteen pound radiator cap that increases. The boiling pr- point. But there's no radiator cap, you said. No, there is a radiator cap. It's just not on the radiator. Oh, okay. So maybe that's what I need, just a radiator cap? Well, no, not if you see steam <laughs> away from the cap. 
There's no cap, though. I don't see the cap. It, it's there. I can show it to you right after the show. All right. Well, I'll just come by at noon. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Robin will bring me back here. Okay. And then just don't give me bad news. Okay. I won't give you no bad news. Whew. All right. You have a phone call. Good. You got a few phone calls. Wow. All right. We'll take one at a time. Good morning. You're on the air with Matt. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hey, Hugh. Hey, hey, man, and you need to sell Larry a, a, a newer car. I think we've had enough of his uh, other one. <laughs> but, but anyway, the reason I'm calling, uh, mother-in-law called me up the other day. She just put a brand new set of rubber on her car, and of course, you know what happens? She goes over a nail. <laughs> now, the thing is, she calls me. She wants to know my opinion. She took it in, and because uh, uh, it leaked a little air off, and uh, the guy says he could not fix the tire because it was too close to the wall. Okay. Or, or, or you know what I mean, yep. uh, and, and uh, there's a law or a ruling or something that when it when it when it's so many inches away or whatever from the sidewall that they they can't do anything for it. Now, what's the deal on that? Well, that, and that is true. I mean, I don't know exactly where the nail went in, so you know I can't really see it. But if it's close to you know the sidewall, what if they put a patch or a plug in it? That that's a that's a that area of the tire has a lot of give. So typically what will happen is is that it won't hold because it's constantly flexing and rolling and moving and and it just won't seal right. So if it doesn't seal right, it's then and it's then it's no good for you to be honest with you. Yeah. What is it like against the law to do it if it's that cool? I mean, is no, it it's like a, a law? No, there's it's not against the law. It's just, you know, it's just something that, you know, we look at and say, okay, this is a good spot to put a pl- patch or a plug, and this is not yeah. a good spot to put a patch or a plug. So, well, Would it be possible to put, like, an inner tube in just that tire and, then, and plug it? Yep. Well, you wouldn't you wouldn't plug it then because then you'll have a big knot inside the tire. But, yeah, you could actually put a tube in it unless it okay. has, you know, if it has a, a TPMS system or a tire pressure monitoring system, you know, you won't be able to use that anymore, and you'd have to change. You know, because you get the tube will have a valve stem on it. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, uh, she she lives down here in Orlando, and uh, uh, she stays in the city. So I, I don't think she ever drives that car over 50, 55 miles an hour. You mean it that fast? But uh, you know, you pay an arm and a leg for for tires nowadays, and it's it just a shame to the tire hasn't wasn't on the car for two weeks. You know, and it's it just a shame to, to throw that tire away. So I'll, I'll call her and tell her that you recommended putting a two, uh, inner tube in her, and then uh, see what happens then. <laughs> yeah, that's that'll work for. Her. Okay, very good. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. I think he recommended it. I think you just said it was okay. <laughs> just it's a, a legal dis- difference right there. Uh, by the way, I have a nail on my tire, too. So I, <laughs> but not in a bad place. It's on the foot of it. Oh, know, good. On the flat part. Yeah, that's good. Good morning. You're on the air with Matt. Hey, good morning, Matt and Larry. Hey, Lauren. It's Lauren, and uh, boy, it must be the day for tires, but... Um, I just wanted to tell Matt, uh, well, sorry about your arm, and Larry, I'm sorry about your, your radiator, but at least you have a, a little time where you could just sit back and have nothing to do. I know, I know. Isn't that the best part? I did it the other day, and Matt didn't know I was there. And, and then he came in and he said, you know, this isn't going to be done today. <laughs> You're like, that's okay. I, I, just let, I just love chilling out here. It's so cool. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the day for tires, and... Uh, I, I wanted to call last week but wasn't able to, and I just want to thank Matt and tell everyone out there in Radio Land, um, even when you're out of state, which I was, I was out of state, and a friend of mine had some major tire problems, and I was able to tell her about Sunrise Auto, and she was able to get over there, and everybody helped her out, and I knew that I was sending her to a place that... Um, you know, total trust and that they would treat her right and they did and they got her back on the road and everything's wonderful and she's so thankful that she's got wonderful tires on her van now so thank you Matt oh you're welcome there you go That's as impo- trust is as important as knowledge at a mechanic yeah, right? right or a doctor or anybody right well, you know, it's pretty cool. Is I didn't know none of this was going on. I'm, I'm, oh, you I'm, didn't? Yeah, I'm like, when you hear that, I sent someone over there, it's kind of like, you know, because it was out of my control. So that, that, that's, that, that actually doesn't say a lot for me personally. It says a lot for my people. Hmm, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she, you know, she had a wonderful experience. Good. So uh, thank you, thank you. 
Thank you, Lauren. That was a sweet call. And that is it. I mean, that's that's it right there. Right, right. I mean, you want somebody who knows what they're doing, but also who's going to be honest with you. That's got Absolutely. To, and, and it sounds like an infomercial, but I don't know any other way to say it. It's just the, the way it is. And the listeners have known me forever, so they, they know that I'm not going to say it if I don't mean it. Right. You know, unless I'm paid enough. No, I'm teasing. I don't. <laughs> I'm teasing. All right, let me, let me take a little break. <laughs> Where's my button here? We'll be right back with Matt. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Some sunshine today with a thunderstorm around this afternoon. High 87 to 91. Clear to partly cloudy tonight. There can be a shower or thunderstorm along the coast early on. Low 72 to 76. For tomorrow, sunshine mixing with clouds. An afternoon thunderstorm around. High 88 to 92. And for Wednesday, times of clouds and sun with a shower or thunderstorm. High 88 to 92. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy. Never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results. And all but given up on my sex life. Then, I found the doctors at New Mayo Medical Center. Wow! They made a new male out of me. Feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor. So much more energy. And no longer worry about my performance. New Mail treated me like my situation was one of a kind. With a custom treatment plan that really works. I feel great. They can create one for you too. It does not matter if you suffer from low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, or just want to last longer. New Mail will help you. Call New Mail Medical Center today at 352-404-4779. 352-404-4779. That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. Robin, let's try a little plant trivia. Name this nursery. It's a not-for-profit, and it teaches growing and caring for plants to their students. Oh, that's easy. Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? It's a nursery conveniently located between Ocala and Bellevue. Again, it's Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? A nursery with a wide variety of just what you need or want at the most reasonable prices. Kenny's Place, of course. Kenny's Place at 7677 Southeast 41st Court. Give them a call at 867-1213. It's a caring place for people and plants. It's Kenny's Place. Good credits, bad credits, it's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSales.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSales.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. One of the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking, will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Cozanet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. 18 minutes after 10 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Matt Gibbs is here with his arm in a sling because he fell off and broke his bicep. <laughs> good morning. You're on the air with Matt. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, something to keep in mind if your car is constantly overheating is that you're slowly French frying your transmission fluid. And uh, if you I've overheated enough times, you probably also need to change the transmission fluid. I didn't know that. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, have a good day. Thank you. Well, fortunately, I have not overheated. How do you know? So it's not got a gauge. It's, it shows. But here's the thing. We've talked about this on the show before. Larry. So my gauge is no good? It's not that it's no good. It has to have, it has to be in water for it to work. So if you do have a leak and you do go down, it can affect your gauge. You can overheat the thing and never even know you're overheating. I'll be there at noon. And one of the things is if you smell coolant or see the steam or whatever, turn your heater on. Yeah, I know that rule. You know, but but if if hot air is not coming out, then it's then more than likely there's no water in it. Gosh, I hope it's okay. (laughs) 
it'll be fine. <laughs> your car, t- you just you 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 got this blessing on your car. I mean, you wait till the last possible minute, and then it's like, and then we and then we make it all feel better. You do, you do. I mean, I felt real good driving it to Orlando. Just going down the road, knowing I had a nail in my tire. I said, ah, that nail would be okay. I, said, <laughs> I mean, I've had it for a few months already. I didn't know it was a nail until this weekend. I finally saw the nail. But I knew I had a slow leak, very slow. Yeah, we'll take, we'll just, we'll, we'll take care of that, too, when you come just over at noon. pop a thing in there. We'll I used to do it myself. Did you? Yeah. The, I gave you the tool and everything. I don't want to do it myself anymore. <laughs> but that ugly black thing that you push in there? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I used yeah. to do that. But I, I, but a, I don't know that I'm doing it right. It was like I watched somebody else do it, and yeah, I don't. It's not that difficult. So I believe if you got a plug in there, you did it right. Okay, but I didn't do it this time. I used to have the whole thing. I had the little kit and the little kit and the little reamer, <laughs> whatever I had. Uh, <laughs> your arm is hurting. Yeah, a little bit. So what, how long before your arm is back to normal? Oh, I don't know. I went to the doctor this morning. He wants to evaluate it for 72 hours, and then we'll go from there. So do you think we'll ever have a car like that's, like, like biologically can repair itself? I hope not. <laughs> 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 because if you do, you know what else will happen? It'll get old. I mean, like, all, bi- all biological things age. So you mean, like, you buy a car and it comes with a mechanic? That could be a good deal. Well, is, I guess that's what you call God, right? I mean, when God made us, we come with a mechanic, don't we? Usually. I mean, he's the mechanic yeah, sometimes. He's, I mean, the great, he's the great mechanic. So when you, when you go to a doctor, you're just going to an, an, an assistant. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you fell off the, the wall, it hurt your arm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling your story a little bit at a time. You, I mean, you, you did go to a doctor. You didn't say, you know, God will fix it. God will fix it, but well, you went I to the doctor for help. To, I asked him to fix it. I asked him to fix it on the way down. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It is. I, when, when I was a kid, I used to, when I get cut or anything, I used to, I used to always say, ah, it's no big deal. God will fix it. And it always did. It always got fixed. It always, that's right. I'm not worried about it. But... And uh, I, I, there was part two to this whole story too, but I, I, I'm not. I'm definitely not going to tell you part two because I t- I'll tell on the air. Yeah, it was. Is it more interesting? Yeah, it's part pretty, one? it's not interesting. It's more funny. And you, you want me and, to tell it? Yeah. Okay. Th- this happened because on, then I don't have to retell it. Th- this this happened on Friday. Okay. Okay. So. You would think that a torn bicep would stop most people from fishing. <laughs> no, not me. In a sling. <laughs> right. Oh, with, now, with a gimpy radio, arm. You, yeah, I just toss it out the, there a little bit, right? The gimpy arm, yeah. Now, the guy that, uh, my next door neighbor, um, he was out on his boat, okay? And I'm out there <clears throat> trying to fish, you know, and and I got hooked up in some vegetation. So I'm, I'm the vegetation's coming in, so I'm just reeling it in it's not nice and slow because I'm going to, I don't want to snatch it and, you know, possibly lose my real special lure that I've caught some fish with. So <laughs> I'm, I'm pulling it in nice and slow, and, and I see my neighbor, he's putting his boat in the slip. Right. Well, all of a sudden, he throws it in reverse to slow the boat down, and he has no reverse. It's making all this grinding noise. And, and okay, so I'm getting, I got my lure in this vegetation real close to me, and my pole's bent over pretty good. Wow, wow. And all of a sudden, bang, he crashes into the seawall. So when he crashes into the seawall, I jerked. Oh, and when no. I did, my, my fishing lure came out of the seaweed and stuck to my face. No. Two hooks right in my cheek. Oh, my God. So, so here I am, arm in a sling. It didn't leave a mark. Fishing lure on my face. <laughs> I'm trying to pull the pole, and it's pulling my face. Was there a barb yeah. in your skin? Yeah. Oh, my God. Blood's running down my face, so I grab my pole, grab my sling. <laughs> I'm running over to help him. He sees me coming, and he starts laughing at me. He just crashed his boat, and he's laughing at me. And uh, he goes, 
He goes, uh, can you see? Can, that looks pretty bad. You need? Can you see it? And I said, no, no, Mark, I can't see it. It's stuck to my face. So here he he reaches over. I'm holding the boat with my one good arm. Right, right, right. He's reaching in there, taking the hooks out of my face. Oh, my gosh. There's no mark on your no, face. It, no, it didn't leave a mark. There was two of them. Wow. Two hooks went in there. Wow. Oh. So So my, he pulled it out. Was he it pulled him out. Painful? And we tied his boat boat off. Now, my wife, she was at the store picking up some stuff, and he goes, you need to go in there and clean that up. And I'm like, I ain't cleaning it up. I'm leaving it just the way it is. I went back and fished. Blood running down my face and everything. And then she comes home, and she <laughs> walks outside, and she sees blood running down my cheek. <laughs> She's like, what in the world? I said, I, that's why I didn't clean it, because you wouldn't have never believed what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> that was on Saturday. So Sunday... I just stayed in my chair yeah, right, and right. didn't do nothing. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch any fish? No, I no. didn't. I caught myself. <laughs> I should have done a selfie. Catch of the day. The big one. That, was, I would have been, I, I that would have been a that good would have been selfie. a big one right yeah, there. You should have done that. Oh, that's too funny. Well, so what does the Lord look like? A frog? No, it looks like a little fish. Like a little fish. Yeah, and it's got multiple. And it's hooks. been it's been good luck for you. Is that yeah, right? it has been. It's, I've caught a few. Did you spend a lot of money on it? Eight dollars and forty six cents <laughs> at Gander Mountain, and I had a Gander Mountain gift card. Really? Yeah. How, how long ago did you buy it? Uh, uh, about a month ago. And you've caught a lot of fish in the past month. I caught three. <laughs> <laughs> But see, I could catch fish. There's because we we feed this. There's we I could catch all the brim I wanted. Joey will come and fish there, yeah. and he'll catch uh, two hundred brim in in oh. all day long. Oh, speaking of Joey, we've been, we've been promoting this, but since you're here, yep. talk about this. Joey is involved in potentially going to be in the Olympics in the 2020 Olympics, yes. and, and take away the potentially for all intents and purposes, he'll be in the Olympics uh, per, if he continues doing what he's doing now. Yes. For those who don't know, Joey is, is Matt's son. Joey is in a wheelchair because of a motorcycle accident or motocross accident. Yes. Right? Yes. So he's paralyzed from the waist down? From the chest down. Chest down? Yes. Oh, wow. And so, but he's very, very fast to the point where he has impressed the people you need to impress. Absolutely. To be in the Olympics. Yep. But there's a wheelchair. What do you call that? A wheel bike? What well, do you call that? it's a racer. They call it a, a racer. Okay. And it's very, very fast. Well, it's only fast because you you push it fast. Right. But it cost how much? Well, actually, we just got invoiced for it um, last week, and, and the company, they they custom built it to your specifications. They actually reduced it, uh, reduced the pay, the, the bill, and it's going to be like uh, 48 95 with the carbon fiber wheels. So that's, Oh, really? Yeah. That that's was, like half the price you told us. Well, that... The, the the all the money that he's trying to raise is also for tires and and, and uh, event entries and meals because he's travel he travels you know he'll be traveling the world internationally wow and so you know so it, we'll have another Olympian from Ocala in the Olympics that's that's what we're hoping four, for four years four well, and uh, 2018 he's um, our goal right now is getting to the Pan American Games in 2018. Um, but yeah, he oh, okay. he went to the junior nationals, and he competed in eleven events, and he got seven gold medals and four silver medals at the junior nationals. So you're looking for sponsorships, and Joey's looking for sponsorships, uh, whether it be a, a private individual or a company. Um, if you're a company and you sponsor, he's got three tiers of sponsorships. You can get your name on his jersey and and whatnot. And you get a medallion too, right? And, and at the, you're right. Well, you'll get a you'll get a an appreciation uh, medal at the end of, at the at the end of it. And uh, and those that are individuals that want to contribute, they can go to uh, GoFundMe, and Joey has a Just link. Just put in Joey Gibbs? Just put in Joey Gibbs. Okay. Or if you go on Facebook, you can punch in Joey Gibbs and then go to his GoFundMe account right then and there. Okay. Um, Matt, I'll see you at noon for my car. Very good, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll keep promoting the, uh, the fundraiser for Joey. Uh, what's your phone number? My phone number is 352-690-1993. All right. I'll be there. In, Thank you. And in two hours or so. We'll, oh. be, we'll be right back.
chip. What do you like? Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. Peaceful protests in Ferguson, Missouri, marred by a gun battle last night. One suspect critically injured by police. There were probably six different shooters on the other side of the street. From what I was told, we looked at some video which showed gunfire coming from a couple different flashpoints. St. Louis County Police Chief John Belmar says the shooters were not part of the protest one year after the fatal shooting of unarmed teen Michael Brown. He surrendered after a standoff with Houston police. David Conley accused of killing a family of eight. Chief Deputy Tim Cannon says this kind of crime defies explanation. We do not and cannot fully comprehend the motivation of an individual that would take the lives of so many innocent people. He faces three capital murder charges. Fox Radio's Grinnell Scott. Two assailants reportedly opened fire at the U.S. consulate in Istanbul with police later catching one suspect. Fox News. We report. You decide. A Napa guy knows not to judge a man by his car's multicolor paint job or absence of safety features. Who cares if it's technically old enough to vote and the windows are powered by the strength of your left arm? Your monthly payment is zero, and it'll stay that way. Because with over 400,000 parts and a little Napa know-how, you can keep anything on the road. She may not be pretty, but she's all yours. That's Napa know-how. Overturned truck blocking the carpool lane, freeway construction slowing everything down. I travel for work. News like that used to ruin my whole day until I discovered Citrix GoToMeeting. With GoToMeeting, I can meet from anywhere using my computer, tablet, or smartphone. And with HD video, I simply turn on my webcam and it's like being in the same room, which means I can stay productive no matter how bad the traffic gets. Visit GoToMeeting.com and start our free 30-day trial. That's GoToMeeting.com. Chip, what do you like best about summer? Mm, going to the beach, hanging around the pool, and let me guess, driving a new Ford. Right on all three counts in celebration of summer, Ford Lincoln of Ocala and Village Ford of Bellevue are inviting people in to take the Ford experience and witness firsthand all the style, innovation, and dependability that makes